Hey guys, we're here with Joel Clausen, representing the Quinn Madeline Foundation for this month's Hometown Hero. Joel, we would love to know a little bit more about Quinn Madeline Foundation. What can you tell us? Yeah, so the Quinn Madeline Foundation is basically, it's kind of like Make-A-Wish, but Make-A-Wish is for uh, folks and children that are three and older. Quinn Madeline Foundation is for anyone under that uh, age. So they, I mean, they do everything. So what, what is it that the child wants to do or what, what does the kid want to do? And they make it happen and it's, it, it's all over the U.S. That's absolutely wonderful, wonderful and we're so happy to represent and try to help support such an amazing cause. But I know that this particular cause affects you personally a little deeply. Would you mind telling us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so unfortunately, um, my son Bryce was diagnosed with crab A disease um, shortly after he was born and passed away at the age of 14 months. And when we found out, one of the things that uh, my wife and I wanted to do was really give Bryce some experiences uh, that, you know, we knew he wasn't going to have because uh, he wasn't going to have a full life. So when we started looking at these things, we got a lot of people nominated us for Make-A-Wish. And they, they, they heard our story and they were like, we just, you know, we, we love it, but we just don't help kids that age, and which was unfortunate. So we, we found an organization, someone nominated us with the Quinn Madeline Foundation, and they um, were able to help us and we were able to uh, go to Florida, which was we were able to take Bryce to the beach, um, which was one of the things. And uh, unfortunately, Bryce passed away when we were on this trip. Oh. Um, but the Quinn Madeline Foundation rolled out the red carpet for us. And, um, you know, this is just a way for us to continue to give back to them as well. No, absolutely. And, and then thank you so much for sharing that. And I'm so sorry for your loss and our condolences to yeah. you. But Bryce's legacy is a little bit more than that. You guys have kind yeah. of taken that and done more with his legacy. Can you share with us a little bit about what you guys have done here locally and then nationwide as well? Yeah. So one of the big things we did was, um, you know, Unfortunately, uh, some of the things that happen with especially terminal diseases is, you know, the person passes away before you really can get some, some momentum going on things. And to, to pass laws and to, to make a change, you have to have a face of something. And uh, the great thing was is that we were able to tell our story and it got out to the news and it got out bigger, um, more eyes on it. And so we were able to um, get newborn screening passed here in Indiana. We were the first bill signed in the legislation in 2019. And so every child born in the state of Indiana will now be screened for Crab A disease, Pompe disease, and Hurler syndrome, which is amazing. Only this, we yeah, are the absolutely. 11th state, uh, the 11th state to pass that, which it should be in all 50 states. It's, I mean, it's the the bad thing about Crab A disease is um, you have a very short window, like within 48 hours of a child being born, to um, make the disease, um, to to make an impact on the disease. Because if you don't. It's terminal. It's too late. It just moves that quickly. It moves that quickly. So this is, I mean, this is a disease that needs to be screened at birth for everybody everywhere. Um, we were also able to, um, Bryce was able to raise $50,000 for the Peyton Manning's Children's Hospital. And we have a room dedicated in his honor up there, which was, we just had the ribbon cutting last month, two months ago, uh, which wow. was amazing. And, um, you know, we're just continuing to do things like this to give back to the organizations that really supported us. No, absolutely. And I'm so lucky, I think, personally, just to get to call you a friend and get to see so much of what Bryce's legacy has done to try to impact and help other kids and newborns here yeah. in Indiana and countrywide. And I completely agree with you. Absolutely. Should 100% be nationwide testing for 100%. things like that. So, Joel, we're getting ready to kind of bring out the big check here for our donation. And want to let you know that what we decided to do was $3. And we knew that Bryce was getting ready to be three, so we wanted to do three dollars for every day for a year. So we did three dollars times 365 days to benefit the Quinn Madeline Foundation in honor of Bryce. So hey, Joel, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us your story and help us showcase you and the Quinn Madeline Foundation yeah. for this month's Hometown Hero. If you know someone who has a story similar to Joel's and Bryce's, please by all means share it with us so we can highlight them for another segment of Hometown Hero.